All right, so in this video segment, I just want to go over the exercise I asked you to do in video 4A, which was to take a look at uh, a Google Earth um, tour of the Whipple Mountains core complex and to try to answer the questions on this slide. So here I'm just going to go over the answers with you. Um, I wanted to do this in Google Earth originally, but when I tried to record it, the quality of the recording um, and the Google Earth imagery as I was moving it around was really quite low. So I'm just going to use images of the Google Earth data instead. And so one of the first questions I asked you was the shape or morphology of the mountain range. And hopefully you recognize that the range is actually somewhat of a dome shaped or an east-west uh, slightly elongated dome. And the way you can tell this is to look carefully at the drainage and alluvial fan orientations uh, and how they all seem to slope away from the highest point uh, in the range, which is near um, the little yellow pin labeled WMCC. And then I asked whether you could recognize any sort of structural grain or consistent orientation of liniments or topographic features. And there is a fairly prominent structural grain here defined by uh, these dark brown uh, ridge lines, which are all striking northwest uh, southeast. There's one prominent one here, for example, another there, um, another one down there, and there's some that are even defined by sort of different rock types as suggested by their color, sort of white against uh, brown. Still again, showing these sort of Northwest, Southeast orientations of those contacts. Then I asked about some of the most prominent geologic contacts. And um, in addition to some of the subtle ones I showed on the last slide, there's of course this very glaring contact um, in the image uh, that shows up between these dark brown rocks that are juxtaposed against uh, these whitish rocks um, in the center of the image. In general, you get the impression that these white rocks are concentrated in the core of the mountain range, and then these dark brown rocks are sort of concentrated around the flanks of that higher topography uh, mountain range core. I also asked you to think about the orientation, especially the dip of this contact. And hopefully in the 3D Google Earth imagery, you were able to see that the contact is quite low angle or shallowly dipping and definitely not steep. Um, there's a clear hint at the shallow angle of the contact just in how it produces these very pronounced uh, Vs with changes in uh, topography, especially on the east side um, of the range. And then finally, I wanted you to think about what kind of contact this is. And of course, um, distinguishing the kind of contact from Google Earth imagery is, is really very difficult. Uh, you'd want to have your boots on the ground. But I wanted you to consider the idea that if you had a chance to visit this place, what would you look for to distinguish uh, whether this contact was a fault, um, an unconformity, or perhaps uh, representing an intrusive relationship? And I'm sure you came up with um, additional ideas, but here are some of the basics that I would look for in this situation. To recognize a fault, for example, I'd want to look for highly deformed rocks, missing or repeated crustal section, uh, shear sense indicators or displaced markers that I can trace their offsets. To recognize an unconformity, I'd look for uh, age discordances, but that still display a young and old relationship. I'd look for channeling or basal depositional units that tell us there was a period of erosion prior to new deposition. And to distinguish an intrusive contact, I'd look for injection features, um, evidence for contact metamorphism, inclusions of the host country rock uh, in the intruding unit, um, et cetera. So hopefully that um, answers the questions I posed in the exercise. And then in the next video segment, we'll discuss all of these features um, that I just highlighted for the Whipple Mountains in more detail. And as a preview, we'll find abundant evidence that this contact indeed is a very special kind of normal fault uh, that's part of this much larger metamorphic core complex that we'll define uh, in detail in the next segment.